Hi guys, it's Leanna Kay, and this is our first inaugural video geek download. I thought I'd add some pictures to the audio you hear on uh, Top 20 Countdown because, you know, it's the internet. Picks or it didn't happen. So I was going to show you guys this, uh, the God of War Ascension beta multiplayer today, but um, Sony shut it down. Sucks to be me. Too little, too late. Um, so instead, I'm talking about something that happened to me today. This is a true story, the best kind, about how to stick your foot in your mouth on the internet and then follow it with a knee and then go up to the hip and then at another foot and just start going om nom 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 on your own ankles. It happens more than you think. Internet safety is not just about not getting your data compromised. It's about not being a so-and-so on the World Wide Web. You mean douchebag? I'm trying not to use bad words. Okay, you didn't, I did. I'm trying not to use bad words okay. because bad words make the baby Jesus cry. And I have friends who are very into the baby Jesus who may be watching this and the grown-up Jesus and the, the crucified Jesus too. There are many, many different kinds of Jesus and they are all good, but I digress. So we are talking about today, dun dun, fishing. Does everybody know what fishing is? Okay, sorry. Uh, fishing, well, it can be a lot of things, uh, but we'll get to that. The fishing I'm talking about is the act of attempting to acquire information like passwords, personal information through fraudulent emails and websites. You know that stuff you get from the bank? The bank? Saying you need to change your login information or from network solutions saying they have to confirm your account. Those are usually phishing schemes and all they're intended to do is take your personal information and, and run with it. Steal stuff off your site, access your bank accounts, or even just like stupid little things like using your computer for a denial of service attack. So on Twitter, I, I put up a thing, it was a couple days ago at this point, yeah, that says, just got an email, just got an email about being listed in an executive directory, afraid to respond in case it's a phishing scheme. Oh, internets. Now, for geeks like me, Putting a Z on any word and making it plural when it's not plural is an indication that you're trying to be funny, haha, -ha, as opposed to funny strange. It's, it's a sign to the world you are not taking this seriously and you are just having a little bit of a laugh. But this one gentleman who works in IT, don't we all, um, thought he, he, would, he would dispense some invaluable wisdom to me. And you know what? For a while, he was actually really quite hap uh, helpful. I actually learned something about how to uh, figure out whether hyperlinked text, that stuff you click on that doesn't actually look like a website but takes you to a website, actually is legit or not. And it was going all well and great until I made a slight syntax error, a little bit of a misspeak, and I referred to something as safe as opposed to not a fish. Yes, I'm aware that they're not quite the same thing, but this is losing most of you. And that's precisely the point. I use words on my Twitter feed that I think the vast majority of people will understand, not people who have no lives like myself. So um, I said basically, so if the href string, which you don't have to know about, matches the website it claims to be from, it's safe. Dude says, safe? Hmm, well, I don't know about that, but it's not a fish. You should probably Google internet identity theft and read up. That's where it began, okay? Now, at first I thought, I'm just not going to respond. It's just off the rails, probably didn't mean it the way it came out. Tech support, guy on the internet, any person on the internet, 140 characters, very likely just a misspeak, like I made in the first place. But then I thought, no, you know what? This is my Twitter feed, and I get to decide how people talk to me on my Twitter feed. And sometimes you gotta spank the guys because they like it. Like that. That's almost, that's almost Gangnam style. That's not Gangnam style. I don't know. It's hopscotch. Anyway. Um, but so I spoke up like the aggressive, powerful women that everyone on the internet claims to like, and everyone on the internet secretly can. So, my response was, and yes, it wasn't very nice, thanks for the condescension. Boo! 
Boom! Oh, offense. Angry guy now on the internet. But you know what? It's fair. Because here's the problem with telling somebody to look something up on Google. Google can't love you. It's basically a series of algorithms that attempt to predict what you're looking for, because most people cannot communicate in text. So I took his advice, and I went to Google Internet Identity Theft. Well, not surprisingly, it's Google. The first two links that come up are ads. So after that, you get a whole bunch of stuff from wikis and from the government. And guys, the government is the absolute worst source of tech information you can possibly get. They're always consistently behind the times. Victes, anonymous, does anybody want to trust the government to give us best standards and practices in the modern age for information? No, of course not. In fact, you're actually better tweeting anonymous, asking them, because you're definitely going to get trolled instead of just maybe. But see, the stuff you get from these government websites is absolutely basic. Basic, basic stuff. What is identity theft? What is identity fraud? That you can get things from mail theft to blah, blah. This is, this is that. The fact that I knew the word phishing used myself correctly in a sentence and I'm a girl should have indicated to this guy that, gee, maybe I was a little bit beyond this basic, basic stuff that you can get through Google. And the problem is if you get any more advanced than the basics, you have absolutely no idea through Google how accurate or reliable the information is. I've seen Forbes.com be wrong on tech. I've seen these little Tumblr blogs be right on the money. There's no way to know. So first of all, it's irresponsible. Second way, it's a big ol' shove off. You are no longer worth my time. Tits or GTFO. Okay, I'm exaggerating there. But then he claimed he searched fish, not identity theft on the internet, like he told me to. He searched fish, and the first thing that came up was the Wikipedia entry. You, sir, are fibbing. Because I checked. Here we go. Fish, Google search. Fish.com is, in fact, the first entry on Google, followed by fish, the Wikipedia entry. The problem is, it's the Fish Wikipedia entry for the rock band. Let's go to fish.com so you can show it to me. First, first Google hit for Fish. This is what we get. See, it's trying to be dramatic. I should have just left it up from before. We did this on the first take. God, oh, there we are. Information about fish. Just not the fish I was looking for. It's kind of like droids. Maybe this guy's a Jedi and I'm really pissing him off. Oh well, anyway, in for a penny, in for a pound. So, this is the problem with, with internet. Let's see how far it takes to actually find the type of fish I actually want. Um, it's not here at all. You actually have to... <laughs> not at all. Not at all. Band, band, Facebook, fish meaning, fish lyrics, fish YouTube. Okay. People also search for Grateful Dead. I bet. So, we know that the band Fish originates in Burlington and has a song called Farmhouse and Harry Hood. Maybe that's about a bris? I don't know. But um, anyway. That tells us absolutely nothing about the information we actually were looking to find on Google. You actually have to Google phishing. And of course, the first thing that comes up is the Wikipedia entry I showed you off the top. So, scientifically, I have just showed you, well, I suppose it's anecdotally, but scientifically sounds better. We have showed you why telling someone to try Google searching something they've already showed knowledge of is really condescending and really quite irresponsible because you're sending someone off into the woods with absolutely no recommendation about what's legitimate information and what's not. It's something I'd never do except as a joke. Like, I tell somebody to Google two girls, one cup. For instance, don't, don't do it. it it's a joke. No, oh, you're, you're doing it. 
aren't you? What about Goatsy? Yeah, don't Google that either. Anything I would tell you to Google, don't Google, because I'm just trolling. Because that's what the internet's for, for God's sakes. It's Twitter, guys. It's 140 characters. I'm not looking for you to save me or fix my life. I'll post the occasional picture. I'll do some funny ha-has. You may have seen my Lance Armstrong jokes. But really, I'm not looking for really deep tech support on Twitter. That's this week's Video Geek download. Follow me on Twitter at RedLianna K. You almost got your foot in your mouth. Oh my ah. god. Ah. Eh. I really can do it. <laughs>